Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I do gear reviews, filmmaking breakdowns, and editing tutorials. And I hope you like what you saw with that ad. And today we're gonna to do the BTS of that ad. Now, full disclosure about this ad, I was simply copying it off of the Barbell's Instagram. I'm only using this as educational purposes. And I wanted to also do some housekeeping duties. The gear I use is the A6600 with the Tamron 7270 2.8. And the three lights that I used were all Godox VL300. Now, you don't have to use the Godox VL300 because they're pretty pricey and there are super cool budget options like the Amaran 200D or the Forza 300. Forza, no, actually the Forza FS300. Since that's out of the way, so let's go to the BTS. Yeah, I guess. All right, everyone, welcome to the behind the scenes. I apologize for the messy garage. My Vietnamese Chinese dad is a hoarding electrician who doesn't organize his inventory. So we have our protein bar on a homemade product stand on a turntable with a green screen or blue screen. To build a product stand, just take a drill chuck, a screw adapter, and a gimbal tripod and pretty much put it together. This idea wasn't exactly mine. It was someone from the Austin Falls product course. Let's move to lighting. It's pretty simple, the lighting setup. I have a key light facing 45 degrees and I'm using a small LED as a fill. We have two more lights used as to light the green screen. Then I took the footage to After Effects and draw a mask around the bar. And I added the wire removal to remove the metal needle. Then add a key light to remove the blue screen. Export it as a transparent background. Brought it back to Premiere and duplicate the clips and played around with the rotation scale and position. And then I added a camera blur and played around with the keyframes and got this. Let's move on to our product bar drop shot. The shot is combining two cut clips to create that effect where the protein bar turns into cashews and chocolate. This shot is pretty hard because the protein bar will leave chocolate marks on the white background. Shooting 24 frames per second is too fast. My camera can only shoot 120 on HD or 1080. This meant that I would have to get the framing right in the camera and I could not crop to fix the frame. So I dropped it in the center and it took me a couple of times to get it right. However, I ended up just masking out the chocolate marks. For the last shot, it was pretty much a simple static shot of the cashews on a cutting board with double diffusion to soften light. And in post, I just simply rotated and cropped it out. And I uh, forgot to mention something, but I forgot to take the BTS footage of the last hero shot. And that's pretty much the BTS. And one last time, I'm gonna show the app. Hope you found the breakdown super helpful. If you like more content like this, please subscribe and like, and also click the fill link down below. It would really support the channel. And that's pretty much it. So, ace out. Yeah, ace out.